I'm Travis with Subsurface Solutions and I want to show you the new app that we have to offer in the Android store. It's called Subsurface Maps Offline and allows you to collect readings as you're locating using an 8000 or 8100 series locator from radio detection with a Bluetooth connection. And so the radio detection units, they do have an internal GPS antenna that you get down get you down to about a meter accurate at best. And so what we did here is actually attach a geo device, which gets you down to about six inch accuracy. And um, it's a Bluetooth device. And so we are able to collect information from that along with the locator into our app. And the app is special because it actually works offline um, and online. And so uh, with the app, if you're out of cell phone coverage area, you can still collect your readings. And then once you're back into cell phone coverage area, you can sync up the app to the cloud-based service and all your locates will appear on your map. And so this video will help you set up uh, the app and get going on it. And uh, before you start, you have to pair up your locator and the GPS to your Android device. I'm going to use my phone here and I'm going to show you on the phone, You, it's just like any Bluetooth pairing, you just scroll down from the top and hold down on the Bluetooth icon and go into your Bluetooth options and I'm going to go through here and find my Geo device. Um, the Geo device I'm looking for is that one right there, 546. I'm just going to click on it and now it's going into pairing mode. And once it pairs up, it's going to say, okay, do you want to pair with this? Yes, I do. And you're ready to go with the Geo. Now we're going to pair with the locator. On the locator itself, if you turn the locator on and hit the on-off key once real quick, and it will take you into the menu. First thing on the menu is volume. And I'm going to scroll through the menu with the up-down arrows here. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and get to the BT option. That stands for Bluetooth. And I'm going to go into that by hitting the right arrow. And we want to scroll through that Bluetooth menu with the up-down arrows until we get to pair. And I'm going to go into that by hitting the right arrow, which is also your peak null button. And I'm going to pair it to a PC. So once I see BT slash PC, I'm going to hit the left arrow, which is also your frequency button. And you're going to see my Bluetooth icon start to flash. So when that starts to flash, it's in pairing mode, ready to pair. And I'm going to go back to my Bluetooth options on my phone, scan for it, and find it. There it is, 8100-1004. I'm going to click on that. And when you click on it, it's going to ask you for a PIN code. The PIN code is real easy. It's 1, 2, 3, 4. Hit OK. It's going to finish the pairing process with the locator. And the locator will come back and tell you oh, uh, uh, that it's paired by hitting. Uh, it's going to come back and say OK on here. And you're going to get a solid B now, just like that. And so we're ready to go with both the external GPS and the locator now. And so I'm going to finish by downloading the app from the Play Store. So I go on my phone here, find the Play Store icon, click on it, and go in the Play Store and type in Subsurface Maps Offline. There it is right there. Second one down. We're going to click on it. You can see our logo actually on the icon, and I'm going to hit Install. So now that's going to download off the internet and install and take it'll take a little bit here but as soon as it's done downloading um, and the installation process finishes uh, we'll be able to open it up and you will log into the system using the credentials that were set up by your map manager whoever's the manager of your subsurface maps online account and uh, you can um, then look at all the different maps that you've already preloaded or set up on your account and download whichever ones you want to work within. And so this will finish installing and we're going to hit open. And as soon as I hit open, there's all my maps. But if there's one on there that's not, I don't see, I can hit download a map and it's connecting to the server. Here's all my different maps that I have on the server. I'm going to find the one that says demo map here. There we go, demo map and download. And you can see it's downloading there. It's also um, caching the base maps underneath. Um, and so you have some background data. And then after that's all said and done, we can open it up on our screen here. And that's what it looks like right now, just an empty map. But we're going to go ahead and verify that the GPS and the locator are speaking to the app. So I'm gonna go up to the map button up here Go to GPS status, and right now the GPS is off, but I'm going to click on that, and I can choose the device GPS, which is my phone's GPS, if you want to use that, or I'm going to find that geode 
And so I found the geo device, and as soon as it starts talking to the geo device, you'll see the blue light come on on your, the front of your geo, letting us know that the Bluetooth is paired up. But you can see I have my lat and my long coming in, my, my, my location, and elevation, and uh, horizontal accuracy is down to 0.46 feet, so just under a, um, a half a foot right now, so pretty darn accurate. Uh, and we are indoors right now too. So I know my GPS is speaking to the app. I'm going to go ahead and hit close. Now I'm going to make sure my locator is speaking. And so there's a draw button up on the top left hand corner. I'm going to click on that. And that allows me to draw to whatever layer I want. Um, I have three options. The first option is a blue icon, <coughs> which allows me to draw a point anywhere I want on the map. The next one is a yellow crosshairs icon and that will hone in on my location so I can draw a point on the map where my GPS says I'm at. And the third one is the locator one. It's called GPS Tray. So when I click on that, the nice thing about this app as opposed to all the other apps out on the market is this allows you to draw to a points layer and a line layer at the same time. So not only will it save the points and the location and the depth rating and all the stuff that the locator uh, is spitting out, but it will allow it to draw a line and you can draw, um, when you're done with that line, start a new line immediately uh, without interrupting anything. And the locator will do most of the work for you. We just have to make sure it's talking. So I'm going to push on the settings icon here. It looks like a gear icon. And there's my 8100. If it's not showing up in there, I'll just go through my list um, of options here and go ahead and find it and select it. And there it is, 8100 right there. And right now it says waiting for connection because uh, we haven't sent anything yet. It's not a constant Bluetooth connection. It's only going to be sent when I push the survey cert button. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it right now. And you can see right now it's sending that information over to the phone. And so when it sends, you're going to see a whole bunch of data come in. This is all the data that the locator spits out, and the depth reading is in there too. Um, but it's also current measurement, what frequency you're using, and everything else. But we know it's communicating because we have the data appearing on the screen. So I'm going to head and go ahead and hit close on that now. And I'm going to now select what points layer I want all those depth readings to go in. And I've already selected these or set up these layers to begin with when I started the, um, the map uh, using the desktop version. And I've got one layer here called depth points. So that's where I want all my depths to, and my locations to show up. And then the line layer, I got one in here called lines. And I'm just going to select that to create the line as I'm locating. So now we simply take the locator out and start doing our locates. We are outside. It's very cold out here, so we're going to go really fast on this one. But I have the GPS going. I have the locator going. Uh, we have the app running on the app itself. You can see we have depth points for the points feature and lines for the line feature. And it's going. we're going to map up this uh, primary service, uh, power primary service, real quick on power mode. And so I'm going to find the line. I got the depth reading showing up on my screen here, 3 foot 5 inches. And I'm just going to hit the survey cert button on the locator and you can see as soon as I hit that I'm gonna get a reading showing up 41 inches right there and I typed in power service already uh, and we're gonna keep that there locked on the screen but we can unlock it if we don't want to keep it there for our next reading I'm not gonna close my form or anything I can go ahead and fill in some other notes and other information if I want to but I'm gonna keep it there and just keep on moving on down the line and take points as I'm going here, I have a three foot four reading right there. Go ahead and hit the survey cert button. Typed in 40 inches for me automatically. And I'm just gonna keep on moving. And you can see the nice thing about this app is it is about as quick as you can locate. Anytime you wanna stop, take a reading, you just go ahead and let it do its thing. You can see that that one was 43 inches deep. And we're gonna move on here. And if I want to add an attribute, like right here, we got a sign or something, we can go ahead and type that stuff in as soon as it comes up there. And uh, we can keep on going. Take a couple more readings. And then we'll go back in the office and we can look at the deeper here six foot reading and I'll take one more there we go and 
after I'm done here, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and hit add for my last reading so I can close out that form. And I'm just gonna hit the button done up on the top. I'm done with that line. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the trace feature so we're not locating anymore. I'm gonna push on the menu button up on the top here, go back to my offline maps, and I'm gonna sync it up. This is the one we we're working with, so I'm just gonna hit the sync button here, and it's updating those layers that we just worked on, and now we can go back in the office and take a look at what the map looks like. Come on. Okay, we're back in the nice warm office, and I brought up subsurface maps, the map that we were working within uh, when we were out in the field up on my desktop here, and you can see the line is displayed on the screen here, the power line out in front, and we have it aesthetically pleasing. We got it red, and uh, for power line it says three phase, and we have all our depth readings showing up, and you can change this. You don't need to have the depth readings displayed, but we're just showing you all the information uh, that came in from the field. And so when I click on any of these points, we have our latitude, our longitude, we have the, uh, the depth reading, the frequency that we're using. There's our frequency up here is our depth reading. It says power service. Um, but all that information that was coming in from the locators all on each one of these points and we can share this map easily with anybody even if they're not a subscriber uh, by using the share button up on the top up here we have a link that then comes up a hyperlink we can email to somebody and they can view exactly what we've done on our map um, and you can uh, change anything you need the looks of it however you want you can customize it and so uh, the app is uh, part of our service, our online mapping service. And so we're not only just giving you a cloud service to map all your utilities, we're giving you an app to work with the 8100 or 8000 locator as well. And uh, the pricing starts pretty reasonably at 30 bucks a month for a single user. And if you want to add additional users, they're uh, pretty low price at around $15, $20 a person. So um, it's unlimited data, unlimited file storage, unlimited photos, video, if you're doing sewer camera inspections and so on. Um, uh, just feel free to give us a holler if you'd like to try it out. Thank you.